Hi, Miri here. I'm going to show you how to edit these email templates so you can send professional looking emails to your audience. So click down here to see the grid view and that will show us all the templates in the pack. Scroll down, I want to use this one, number 14. Double click and then I can edit the template. So the first thing I'm going to do is the title. Click on the title, type in your new text and then you can drag the edges of the text box and the corners to change the size. And then if you click up here on position, click center, that will put your title in the center. Next, I'm going to change this text. So click on it and type in your new text. And in the same way, I'm going to change all of the text on the rest of the template. Now I'm ready to add some images. So go here to uploads and then you can add all of your pictures here. I've already added the ones I want to use. So I'm going to take this one first, drag it across and then let's just zoom in so we can see it better. If you double click the picture, you can change the way it appears in the photo frame. So I just want this to fit perfectly. Great. And then I'm just going to drag across some other pictures, do the same double click drag the corners and then I can arrange that so that it fills the whole of that screen. Perfect, click done. And now I'm going to add a few more images, one here and one here. Lovely. So now let's zoom out so we can have a look. There's the whole design finished. But before we download, I want to show you that you can change colors too. If a layer is locked, you'll see a padlock up here. Just click on it and that will unlock the layer. Then click on the color square and that will open the palettes and choose the different color that you want. I put it back to our original color now. Okay, so we're ready to download. So to do that, click up here on download. And I'm going to choose PNG. You can choose JPEG, but the small file size means that the resolution isn't great when you upload it to your email marketing platform. So I prefer to use the PNG. And then choose page 14, click done and download. So now we're ready to go to the email marketing platform. I'm using MailChimp. Click on create campaign and here you want to choose email. Then we need to give the campaign a name and click begin. So this page is for setting up your campaign and later when you're ready you can add your recipients, you can say who's sending this campaign and have a subject line. But for this tutorial, we're interested in this button here, the design email. So first of all, you want to choose this template. And then because this is just a generic template, we're going to go through and delete all the blocks that we don't need. So select a block and then click on the delete like this. Repeat that for all these other blocks until all you have left are this logo and this first block. OK, this is where we're going to place our email template. So click on the pencil icon on this block and then click replace. And that will open the content studio that has all your uploads and images. Click upload and then navigate to where you saved your download from Canva and upload it to MailChimp. So here's the email template we created in Canva uploaded to MailChimp. I'm also going to add my logo up here, so click the pencil icon, choose replace, and then I've already uploaded my logo, so I'm just going to click on this, choose insert, and that will put my logo into place. Next, click settings, and then margins edge to edge, because I don't want there to be that white block between the logo and the email template itself. And then repeat that for the email template settings and click edge to edge in the margins. 
Next, I want to add a link to this block so that when my recipients receive this email, they can click through and go straight to the product in my shop. So this is my Etsy shop and this is the product that I want my email to link to. So I'm going to copy the URL and then go back to MailChimp, click link and then paste in the URL. And now when my recipient clicks on this section of my email, they'll go straight to the product in my shop. You can also change the colour of the background of your email, so click here on this colour square and that will open the palette. And then if you go to the original PDF that you downloaded from Etsy, you'll find the style guide for this template. And you can copy the hex code from here and then back in MailChimp paste it into the colour palette, like this. Press enter and that will change the background colour of your email to match the template. Perfect. Save and close. And now let's have a look at a preview of our email so far. So click here on preview, and then you can see how it will look on desktop. And if you click anywhere on this email, it will take you to the product page. And then back in MailChimp in the preview mode, we can also see how it will look on mobile too. That all looks good to me. I just want to add some links for these social media icons. So go to the block, click on the pencil icon, and then you can add the links to all of your social media platforms here and add any other information you need to here. So you might like to add some extra text to your email and that is possible with this template. So let me show you how to do that. Duplicate the template by clicking on this plus and then with the top one click on the pencil icon and click edit and that will open this edit screen. First thing you need to do is uncheck lock dimensions and then drag this to crop the image. Click save and then select the second block, click the pencil icon and edit and in the edit screen uncheck the lock dimensions and this time crop this part of the image, click save and now you have your template split into two. We can take a text block here and squeeze it in between the two so that you can add some text. All you need to do is type your text in. You can change the font to match the font on the template. And choose a size. And color. Let's just align it so it's centered. Save and close. That's perfect. Let's have a look on the preview. And you can see the text is added there in the middle. Now having a look at this in the preview, I think there's quite a lot of space around the logo, so I want to reduce that. So let's come out of preview mode, and then here you can play around with the padding around the logo and set it to just how you want it. So let's have a look at a preview. And that looks really good to me. Check it on mobile. Perfect. So that's your email ready to send to your recipients. Click continue. And here MailChimp gives you an option to send a test email so you can see exactly how it will look when your recipients receive your amazing email. So I really hope that you found this tutorial helpful. Thank you so much for watching.